In today's journey, we join Phil and Casey as they try something they've never done before. Oh. Here we are to try out some of these white cloth seltzers, see what all the hype's about. I have the black cherry. I have the ruby grapefruit. There you go, show it on the actual camera. Boom. Okay, now we're in now. business. Alright, uh, so let's start with this black cherry. Okay. It smells like cherry. Yeah. It tickles the nose. It's got a pretty good cherry flavor for it being... It's not too overpowering. It's not aggressively cherry. No, but if it's you, not... If you weren't paying attention, you could miss it, but But it's, it's not there. like an LaCroix where it feels like a cherry farted in the room. You can actually taste the cherry. You know? And the smell is definitely there. Yeah. It's got a lot of nose on it. But for the most part, it goes down as easy as water does. Unless yeah, CO2 is a problem I'm for you. I'm just slamming this thing. Oh. Actually, like, I wouldn't even be upset about this. Dude, I could drink this all day. This would be, like, an all-day drinker for me. It's the same fucking thing as, like, a, um, like, all-day IPA. Like a session. So, you know, sessions can't be higher than five, right? Yeah, those, I would say an all-day would be as lower, I think. I don't think no. by a lot, but it's, it's higher than 3.5, which is... Yeah, but, like... But, like, right. normally something this light is... 3.5 Oh yeah, no, it's good. This is like almost... So it could, it's easy to forget how much alcohol is in here. Phil! What? Perfect question. Since you said that most of those beers are whatever, what? what, it says here that it's a beer with natural flavors. Now this tastes like a malt liquor to me, so explain why it's not. I don't know why it's not a malt liquor. Okay. Because when you read the ingredients on the side of the can, it says carbonated water, alcohol from cold brewed sugar, and natural flavors, natural cane sugar, and no mention of malted barley or other grains. So is that what makes a beer a beer then? Having malted barley or grains? Or is saying that this is a beer with natural flavor and on truth? That's what, we're here to blow this well, shit we're up. Here to try them. Well, we're blowing up a big story here. Wide open. It's a front page news. Breaking news here. Because why is it not a malt liquor? That's what I'm wondering, because it's doesn't have it's not a spirit because it wasn't distilled mm -hmm. but it can't be a beer because it doesn't have sure it's basically a fermented pop without all the extra this is actually probably healthier than most pops are it probably <laughs> is because it, it actually it has it's um fruit natural juice cane sugar <laughs> and it's fruit juice concentrate too so it yeah. actually it's juice so yeah, I bet it's better for you than pop three three grams of carbs 170 calories that's good. I'm gonna slam yeah, that's, you know that would be especially good on like on the boat or something. That's what I was just thinking, like on the water for sure. Like I had to check the slamability on it. It's slammable. It's just, it's just slammability. That's I had to use a word I use to describe beers when I'm at work. Sometimes I'm like it's super slammable when it's like easy to drink and people know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, with that. Alright, so let's try this other one. The Ruby, ruby red grapefruit. This is what I'm excited about. No, it's just ruby grapefruit. It doesn't say ruby red. It's nope, ruby that's grapefruit. one of those one of those brain Wait things. Wait a second. Before I try this, give me. A f it says well, it says natural grapefruit juice, so it's not. What makes a ruby red grapefruit different from a grapefruit? I think copyright. Do okay. Well, maybe. I that I. I don't know. Google it. That's something to Google, ladies and gentlemen. Tell us if in the comments learn, below. Yeah, let us know, because I don't know. Okay. All right, so let's see. So this was the one that was less carbonated. Carbonated. I was really excited about this one. The, the aroma it, isn't as intense. No, that's what I was just going to say. You can't really... But grapefruit's a hard... It tastes more like grapefruit than the yeah. other one tastes like. Yes. Well, because that's the thing with grapefruit. It's such a heavy flavor. You don't want to overdo it on the scent. They did that one really well. Actually, that's my thing. I like this. Screw the black cherry. This is where it's at. They also have one, we just looked online, that has... I didn't think I was going to like this at all. And then when we were looking up online earlier, we said that they just had a plain tonic water, just alcoholic tonic water. Alcoholic water. Yeah, so like, think of the possibilities with that. And you can mix that with a bunch of stuff. But now I just want to mix this with a bunch of... Uh, some vodka. A little bit of more like... Grapefruit, you got yourself a cocktail right there. Right there. Right there. 
That's it. Drink and drink. Oh, and then they have all those drinks that, like, I have this uh, a new recipe. It has a bottle of vodka and a bottle of Moscato in it. And, like, some strawberries. And I think it had some, like, seltzer stuff in it. Boom. You put that in the, the freezer thingy? No, this is, like, a totally different one. It has strawberries and lemons and stuff. Oh, it looks good. I'm going to make it. Why can't carbonated flavored water taste like this? That's true. Like I said, I said that before. Take the alcohol out. This is a... I, I could replace my yeah. pops with this. Yeah, like, like LaCroix sucks. Tastes like farts. That's what I said earlier. It's, like, this doesn't taste like a grapefruit farted in the room. This tastes like grapefruit. So, a non-alcoholic version would be awesome, actually. Why can't we do it? Uh, I love you all very much. Thanks for subscribing. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. Don't be an asshole. Alright, cheers. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us for our non-sponsored content. They just saw it at the store and thought it looked neat, bought it with their own money. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to see more. Oh, uh, at the same time? Yeah. I like that. It was super cheesy, but I liked it.